Welcome to Carlo Design. Today I'm going to make pencil pencil case, which is a quick and easy project and it can be a great gift for kids or teachers or even yourself. So this is how the printed pieces of the pattern should look. Take your box of scraps and make something nice out of them, as long as they are firm enough to hold the shape. This is a 4 ounce chrome tan piece of leather from my box of scraps, and this is how I uh, do to attach the pieces of the pattern to the leather. I've seen other people do it differently, you can do it any other way you like, as long as it works. For the first pencil pencil case I used 3-4 ounce vegetable tan leather. It had a pretty firm hand and it worked just fine. So uh, anything you got might work as soon as it's not too soft. This is uh, five and a half ounce uh, as well as the white part is also five and a half. And there's another thing that you need for this project, it's a dog. When you go away. And um, this is the main part, the body. Uh, now this piece of leather is also 4 ounce. It's probably a little bit softer hand that, that I would like it to be. So, making the holes. Oh shit. And I don't want to be Captain Obvious because uh, this is probably not a necessary thing to say, but I would say that to myself every time I start a project. Before you glue your uh, pattern pieces onto your leather, just check for imperfections every time, check for imperfections. And I still do this mistake. See, I had to redo this uh, part because it has stains on it. So, now this is a uh, quick process of... I wish I was so quick when working in real life. So, uh, this is the part of the cap. making the holes in that part. This is the tip of the pencil. I made it black, which is quite logical, I think. Just the same way you cut that out. If you're not so good at cutting, you probably should cut it a little bit outside of the line and then uh, after you cut it out, you have some space still left to use sandpaper. Uh, here uh, you need to mark those holes where you attach the strap on the back. Uh, here this is uh, a little bit refining, looking for a buckle. And here we have to make that little keeper. In case if you are using uh, the buckle that already has a keeper, like center bar buckle, uh, you don't need this part. This is quite simple, just make it a little longer than you uh, think it should be and wrap it around your uh, closure strap and the buckle holder and cut it uh, to that length and I make one hole on each end and then just sew it together. So here is what you should get after you cut all the pieces out. And uh, first I made those keepers on the, on the cap, on the rubber, um, out of white leather, but then I changed my mind uh, and made them out of pink leather. The dog hair that is uh, on the video, it's not a necessary part of the process. 
It's just for me, it's inevitable part of any project. So this is how you make the keeper. I, I just um, can't get used to uh, filming all the process, so I keep a little bit to the side of the frame, and I'm sorry for that. I'm going to try to do it better next time. So you take your buckle holder, don't forget to put uh, the keeper onto it. I hope you still can see something. And then we gotta sew it on onto the body. Uh, those two holes on, on the back side of this buckle holder, uh, those are that go underneath of the front part and then you just attach it to the to the body. So here it is, the buckle holder is done. Uh, now we have to assemble the tip. First uh, you're gonna uh, sew the uh, small thing to the bigger thing. I, I'm just not sure uh, that would be the, the tip, uh, the black tip, and uh, I'm not sure if I know the name for the uh, gray part. So. Anyway, you just attach one thing to another. So here's the tip, and now we're going to attach this uh, to the body. And somehow I'm breathing into the phone like Darth Vader. Uh, I'm not used to this setup yet, so uh, I'm sorry if that reminds you of uh, some maniac who calls you in the middle of the night and just breathing into your phone. So um, I don't know how to remove that, so we gotta leave with that for now. And I decided to uh, stamp a label apart because uh, this leather that I'm using, oops, it didn't come out well, that happens. The leather uh, that I'm using for the body, it has some synthetic finish and does not take heat very well, so it just melts. And I decided to sew the label on, on the back part. Uh, you can do the same if you want, but I think it looks better when uh, you stamp uh, your logo somewhere in the front, like I did on the first one. But anyway, that's an option. And now we're going to assemble the body. So I start with a tip. I start with a tip, trying to stay in the frame.
And this part is a little bit of pain in the ass because you need to attach the strap on top of that seam that uh, joins the sides. And this is why I was marking those holes and you can see those uh, marks on the pattern. Just go slow, this is just five stitches. And yeah, it's not uh, really a comfortable thing to stitch. After you finish that, uh, it's time to assemble the cap. So uh, you just need to stitch the front keeper on the way uh, I am stitching it. So uh, make sure you realize that uh, there are two more holes on the cap and they just keep the edges. So this way you uh, stitch the front keeper and then we're going to stitch one side of the back keeper because we're still going to have to stitch the cap top and close the sides together. And those knots that I'm tying in the back, they're not really necessary uh, because I decided um, for me it's either more back stitches or the knots. In this case, I don't really care about those big knots uh, because they're pretty much hidden. So, uh, I don't know, in order to see them, you really need to want to see them. So, in this case, I decided I'm going to do less back stitching because it does look bulky on the short seams. And so I make those knots everywhere in this project. And now we're going to attach uh, the top of the cap to the side of the cap. And you just do it this way. Yeah, so uh, it's an overlap seam. Uh, the cap top being underneath as a layer in this seam beneath the layer of the side part. And there is nothing tricky to it. Just sew it on. And it's a good idea to take a longer thread uh, before you start sewing the cap on. So you can just finish uh, both seams in one go. You just continue or with a side seam. So here's uh, another little tricky part. You gotta attach uh, the other side of the back keeper, and it's not very comfortable, but it's just four stitches. So uh, I believe you can do it. It's a short seam.
So now that the cap is ready, we're going to put it on, onto the pencil case. Um, my strap, I made it a little bit wider, so it's uh, slightly tough to pull through. And I recommend that you put it on, pull it through, and probably pull on it a few times so you can close it uh, on the third hole. And it uh, covers the buckle keeper completely. Voila! Under this video, you will find the link to this pattern and a discount code. And I hope you will have a lot of fun working on this amazing project. Let me know if you have any questions. Join our Facebook group, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.